Friends, Ash here with Jensen's new fragrance time. That's right, baby. Got something new. It's Valentino Uomo's Born in Roma Intense. A maximum intensity here, insanity. I bought my bottle from Nordstrom, and the day after I bought it, they took it off the website. I'm assuming by the time this video goes live that it will be available on there again. Part of me feels like they didn't sell out, but that somebody at Nordstrom screwed up and put it on there live too early. And Valentino was like, take it down, it's not ready. Of course, in the US, we're getting it a little bit later. Uh, people in Canada, people in Europe have already had access for a minute. But yeah, in today's video, I will be opening this bad boy up. I will be showing you the presentation. We'll spray it on, see how it smells, see if I dig it. So let's jump into it. And I will link this one in the description below in case you wanna check it out. I'm assuming at Nordstrom, but if it's not there, I'll try to find it somewhere else. Now, of course, there's a little bit of a backstory here with the Valentino Womo Born in Roma line. Originally, Valentino Womo and then Womo Intense were big fragrance community darlings. Had a bit of a similarity to Dior Homme slash Dior Homme Intense, very classy smelling fragrances. Fantastic, honestly, I love those. Uh, but not exactly what Valentino was wanting apparently because they eventually changed gears and they went to their Born in Roma line, which is what they're building out now. And the original Born in Roma, that one had a bit of a similarity to Paco Rabanne's Invictus. And so I was not a massive fan of that one. So we'll see how this is. So enough talking, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's check out the presentation and spray it on. So here we got the box. Has a very bright pink coloration to it set against that uh, black backdrop. So you've got the name of the fragrance, the name of the house, size and concentration on the front there. This is an Eau de Parfum Intense. Nothing up top, nothing on the sides other than a QR code on one side. On the back, you have your ingredient information and your barcode. And on the bottom, you have your batch code. My batch code is 38WN03R. And it does have a little bit of a pattern to it that you can feel here, a little texture, it's bumpy. And on the inside, there is a unique code for valentinobeauty.com where you can get special rewards. And here we've got the bottle. So this is done in your typical Valentino Womo style. Has a nice gradient where it's dark up top and gets a little more clear toward the bottom pink coloration to the fragrance itself. With the name of the house across the front there with kind of a faux leather strip. You have the spiked collar up top. The cap clicks into place. And on the bottom, you have a sticker with your batch code. And also there's a little Valentino logo on the inside of the cap there. Here we go, let's spray it on. Let that settle for a sec. Now I have historically not been a huge supporter of the Born in Roma line. So my expectations are low, but my hopes are high. Just like huffing it over and over and over. Hey, I like it. This is pretty freaking good. It's powdery, uh, more powdery than I was expecting, but not in iris makeup kind of way, like a, a vanilla, like a powdery vanilla. It's warm, a little bit fresh, decently sweet, but not overbearingly sweet. And I think that's because the powder kind of takes the edge off a little bit, so it doesn't come across like bubble gum. Doesn't really smell too Invictus-y, so that's good. And even though it doesn't smell too invictus -y, it clearly is tied in with Born in Roma, so the name makes sense. It's got a similarity to the original, just with that syrupy, kind of sweetness dialed back. There's like a light underlying minerality, but it's it's underneath the powdery vanilla pretty, pretty well. So you have to kind of dig your nose in to try to find it. It's got this nice sweetness that kind of is coming out underneath the vanilla. It's not the vanilla itself, because the vanilla itself, like I said before a couple times, is more powdery. I'm assuming it's the lavender, yeah. But it, it's still kind of swallowed up by the vanilla here in the opening. But it, it's a nice semi-sweet lavender, very smooth. The lavender is smooth. The, the vanilla has like a little fuzziness because of that powder. You get pops of brightness, like this just little zing that comes here and there, a little fresh spice. This is solid, guys, this is solid. If you're looking for something that is right in line with modern men's fragrances right now, you know, the sweeter fragrances, but done in kind of a different way, a nice twist, 
a nice change from the more standard stuff that we've been getting that can pull compliments that's got good versatility. Check this stuff out. If you go into a store, spray this on, spray it on skin, give it a wear. Fall and winter time, uh, it's that type of fragrance, you know, it's, you can pull it off early spring, I'd say, but once it starts to heat up, I'll probably go with something else. So I kind of wish this would have come out in like November, something like that, where I could get more use out of it. The more this dries on my skin, I am digging it. Trust me, I'd be the first one to crap on this stuff because I'm not a big fan of, like I said, kind of the Born in Roma line, how it's moved away from what Valentino Womo was. All credit to Coral Fantasy and also Yellow Dream. Like those are solid. And the more that I wore those, the more I came around to it. Coral Fantasy, I think uh, I initially liked a little bit more than uh, Yellow Dream. Yellow Dream is, you know, a little derivative of uh, Stronger With You, but it is still a very good fragrance for most people in terms of like versatility and stuff. But this one far and away is my favorite one off just the first spray. It has that, that attention grabbing nature. Like when you smell it, you can tell that it's one of the ones that in the air, you know, it's going to go off. Uh, of course, you know, some people are going to crap on it just because it's a born in Roma, but this is very surprising much better than I was expecting. I'm gonna let this dry down. I'm also gonna have my wife smell it, have her give her uh, opinion. I'll be right back and let you guys know how it changes as it dries. We'll be right back. A few moments later. I'm back. So I had my wife check it out. She really liked it and I figured she would. I mean, it's that type of fragrance that when you smell it, you're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, this is a big people pleaser. You know, most everybody is gonna like how it comes across. It's that type of fragrance you just immediately know. Yeah, made for the masses, you could say. Now I did spray it on again so she could smell the opening. And the opening actually has a, maybe not exactly like a fruity sweetness, but it's got a, a nice little sweet pop in the opening and it's a little more zingy a little more fresh until that powdery vanilla comes up interestingly though as it dries down that powdery vanilla dissipates so the powder goes away and it becomes this really really pleasant sweet fragrance with nice warmth uh, maybe vaguely reminiscent of some of the other fragrances that have come out over the past couple of years that have that kind of, you know, that little gourmand type feel to it. Vetiver, uh, I believe, is the base note here. It, it doesn't come across smelling too much like vetiver, though, at least not in my experience here with this first wearing, because instead it's more this just very inviting, warm, sweet, almost like lightly, you know, chestnut kind of vibe. I think nutmeg is an official note in here. Uh, but yeah, it's got a little bit of that, that kind of creaminess. Absolutely love the way this thing dries down. Like this can hang with the Stronger With You line. It can hang with Scandal. It can hang with stuff like that. You know, it can pull attention just as well as those fragrances. At least that would be my, my guesstimation based off of uh, this first wearing. So Valentino Womo Born in Roma Intense. This for me, this is the Born in Roma to own at this point. Can't really speak to you guys about performance. First time that I've worn it. It appears to be good. I can easily pick the fragrance up. It's lasting well. So my assumption here is that the performance is going to be quite nice, uh, but I haven't you know, gone out today. I've just been hanging around the house, so yeah. In terms of seasons, as I said earlier, fall, winter, early spring, I think you could pull this off daytime or nighttime, but it'd make a great night out scent. And you know, I think before I wrap the video up, I will walk back a little bit what I said about the vetiver. You can pick it up, but you have to really kind of seek it out. Like earlier, I talked about this faint minerality that you can kind of pick up. It's like that. You get a big whiff and you get that, that sweetness, you get that warmth. So you're not really concentrating as much on the vetiver. But if you do, if you seek it out, you'll, you'll pick it up. Little tingly wafts of woodiness coming out. So Valentino Womo, born in Roma, intense, good, <laughs> really good. We are starting off the year on a high point. So I am pumped about that. Uh, the new Armani code, that one smells good. This smells really good. Last year, I think the first new release I really smelled was Legend Red from Mont Blanc, which I didn't think it was all that good. So there we go, Valentino Uomo, born in Roma, intense. If you see this in a store, spray it on. Not cheap, this one. $128 for this 100 mil size bottle. Or you could get the 50 mil size bottle and save 18 bucks. The 50 mil bottle is 110. I mean, I don't see too many people going for the 50 mil. For $18 more, you can have double the amount. 
I'm gonna quickly spray this on a strip just to see how different it is versus skin. I should have maybe done that earlier. Yeah, way sweeter. Still really pleasant, really nice. And I know typically you would spray this part and you would ride on this part, but I like to spray the big part. So yeah, a little, a little bit more sticky sweet, but still very pleasant. Spray it on skin though, it's different. All right, that'll do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Very happy today. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.